Hello student. In this tutorial, we will discuss design of accumulator logic. So, uh, as we have done in previous video, or uh, as we have learned in previous video, okay, as we are, uh, we will first try to find out all the operation, uh, micro operation where we are using accumulator logic, or we can say arithmetic logic or shift circuit. So here, first of all. We will try to find out all the micro operation where uh, we are using accumulator as a source or you can say accumulator as a destination. Uh, so let me write down all the transaction one by one. So later on we can discuss. First is uh, D0 T5 means uh, simple and operation. So AC, AC and DR. Okay, so logical end operation. Next is D1 T5 AC goes to AC plus DR end operation. Then uh, D2 T5 DR where we will transfer the content from DR to AC means transfer then next is uh, TB11 where in AC on bit, uh, bit number 0 to 7 of AC we will transfer the content from I and PR so here meaning of P is uh, D7 I uh, T3 then uh, we are having some uh, register reference instruction R, meaning of R is D7 I dash T3 so R B uh, 9 bit number 9 so which operation it is complement so AC is equals to complement AC then next is uh, R B7 so in B7 uh, circular shift right so, sorry circular uh, yeah circular shift right AC and uh, circular shift uh, right through carry and uh, next is RB uh, 6 circular shift left Here AC of 0 will be then D11 will set all, we will uh, set all the bits of accumulator to 0 means clear accumulator. And next is RB5 where we will increment the accumulator AC equals to AC plus 1. Increment accumulator. So all these are uh, operations where we are using accumulator. Now we will try to figure out the operation where we are clearing the accumulator, where we are incrementing the accumulator, and where we are uh, loading the value of uh, accumulator. So in that case, you can see uh, this will be by default input to CLR clear. Input. This will be the input to INC, INR, increment operation and rest of all we will load value into accumulator ok so this will be input to load so if we try to uh, design the circuit for accumulator let's say this is accumulator and uh, we are having uh, three input uh, load then uh, increment and then clear okay so for clear it is uh, rb so rb11 so let us take r as a common which is common in various transaction b96 uh, b7 b6 b11 
B5 and B9. So we will write in the same order. Let's say B11. No, B11 is for P. So we will write B9, then B7, and then B6, B11, and B5. Yes, so we will put end gate here. Here again we will put another end gate. Here again we will put end gate here, end gate here, another end gate. Yes, uh, then one input is B9, B7, B6, B11, and B5. Another input will be R, so this will be RB9, RB7, RB6, RB11, RB5. Clear? Uh, RB9 is for let's say complement, RB7 is for uh, SHR means circular shift right, this is circular shift to left, this is for uh, clear and this is for increment. Okay, so uh, input to increment will be directly given from last B5. Sorry, I will join in correctly. Yes, input to increment will be given from last end gate. In input to clear will be given from last second gate. Yes, and uh, for load input, we have to write few more, let's say PB11. So, we will try to draw another end gate. One input is P, another input is B11. Next, uh, we are having uh, D2 T5. So D2 T5. Next is uh, we are having add and end operation. So for that. Uh, D0, T5, D1, T5. There will be one end gate. Here there will be another end gate. Yes, and here we will put one four gate. So first is D0, T5, and Next is D1 T5 head. Next is D2 T5 transfer. Next is PB11. That is input register. Then uh, B9. That is complement. Then uh, shift right. And last one is shift left. Okay, by default there will be a 16-bit input from ALU to accumulator and 16-bit output will be there for common bus. So uh, this is how we can uh, design the accumulator. Now uh, we have discussed there were uh, there was a control logic gate in timing and control unit. So uh, those uh, control logic gate input will be given to this. You can say 16 bit ALU. Okay, if you try to recall the arithmetic logic. Uh, shift unit then there was a, a total uh, five selection input so s0 s1 s2 s3 and uh, s4 and uh, i think s5 
the input that so those selection input will be given by control logic gate on various condition clear with this so uh, this is how uh, we can implement the uh, design of accumulator logic so with this we will end this unit uh, next video will be from the next unit so thank you